everyone and welcome to the first monthly favourites of 2014 which is really exciting and I'm just going to talk to you about a bunch of products that I've been loving this month. Most of them are actually makeup which is a little bit unusual for me. I've normally got a little bit of a mix going on but mostly this month they have been makeup items. So I'm going to jump right into it with the first product and the first thing that I've been really enjoying this month is the Benefit the Professional Primer. Now this is actually a big tube of it. I have had a tube of it before and I finished it and I've had a few of the little small sample tubes that Glamour Magazine always give away and I've used those as well, I always use them for travelling. But this is what it looks like and it's just a kind of silicone based primer. It doesn't necessarily make your pores look smaller but it does make your makeup apply really beautifully and it just kind of gives your skin that perfect canvas before and it's more of a matte finish rather than that kind of slippy silicone -y base so I really like that. Probably one of my favourite ever primers. I'm going to put it back in its box because am I the only one that does this? I keep boxes of kind of makeup items, I just don't know. But yeah, the Benefit Professional. Then the next thing I've got is a foundation and I've actually um, got a couple of foundations that I'm testing out at the moment, L'Oreal foundations that I'm going to do a video on soon. But this is the one that kind of stood out to me the most so far and that I've used the most. And this is the L'Oreal Nude Magique um, Eau de Tint, I think it's called, foundation. Bottles really compact and different and it's basically very similar to MAC Face and Body except it's not sticky. It gives that kind of light finish, it's got a very lovely texture it's very easy to apply it's kind of a powder base so you kind of give it a good shake to mix everything up apply it on your skin and it's very light coverage you can build it up and it just looks very natural and pretty and it's a very kind of beautifying foundation which I think is always great so I really do like this and um I've been using it a lot. It's a great Sunday foundation you know when you have your Sunday face which I don't like to kind of be totally makeup free I like to just have a little bit of makeup on. Something like this is great because it just looks natural and you don't feel like you're wearing too much, so love that. Then another base product that I've got here is the Miners Fresh Face Concealer. And this is what I'm wearing under my eyes today actually. And um, I've been really enjoying using things like this rather than the Collection 2000 um, concealer because that just kind of can be a bit drawing and my skin has been a bit weird lately and this kind of gives a nice illuminating effect and it kind of makes the skin look quite plump so I've been using this a lot this month I've been really enjoying it and then the last base product I've got here is another benefit product and I actually took this away with me and I used it all while I was away and I really liked it and this is the benefit the professional um, shine vanishing pro powder packaging of it's really funny but it basically comes kind of like that and you tap the powder into the lid and then it's got this kind of brush down here so it's great for traveling it kind of makes um, it very easy to kind of um, well, retract it <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about um, it makes it easy to kind of get it out and apply it everywhere and great as I said on the go because you can just touch up very very easily and it's cute it can be a bit powdery but um, it's really nice to set your makeup with if you've got quite oily skin which I definitely have then the next product is a lip product and it, this is by Revlon and this is one of their Colorstay Ultimate Suede lipsticks and this is in the colour Socialite which is just this kind of very pretty natural pink colour. I'll swatch it here for you. It's just a kind of pretty natural nice pink shade and I've been really gravitating towards these types of shades lately because I just feel like kind of I suit those deeper pinks really really like that it's lovely and then I've also got a mascara that I've been really enjoying this month and I kind of have got one issue with it and it's that it smudges a little bit but I think that's just due to kind of how busy I've been and I've been going out a lot and I've been walking to work as well which kind of makes um makes your makeup kind of fade more easily but this is the 17 super lash mascara and it's just one of those fiber mascaras that kind of the brush doesn't look like anything special it doesn't look like it's going to do much and i've got very very sad little lashes but somehow this is fantastic it makes them really really long and just very noticeable and i like i said haven't got noticeable eyelashes so i was really impressed with this and i really think that it's just a kind of nice mascara if you haven't got much going on in the lash department. If you've got very long lashes, I'd stay clear because it does give a very long effect, but I really like that. And then last but not least is a brow product, and I've been getting into these types of brow products a lot lately. And this is by Cosmetics a la carte, and this is their brow ink. It's a semi-permanent liner. I've got it in the shade Sable, and it just looks like this. It's just a kind of thin 
felt tip liner almost, but you can kind of draw the individual hairs on your brow and it's fantastic for that. I'll just kind of do a little demonstration there. That's obviously done quite heavy handed, um, but if you kind of do it very gently, it just looks great and I love that kind of effect. My WhatsApp keeps going off. Uh, I love that kind of effect that it gives. It's just very kind of natural, um, but defined at the same time. So now I'm done with the makeup, I'm gonna move on to some nail products that I've been loving. So moving on to nail products, and I've been wearing a lot of kind of darker, deeper shades recently. The first two that I've been really enjoying are both by Essie, and the first one is this one right here called Decadent Dish. I wore this all of last week, a really nice kind of deep, chocolatey, multifaceted colour. And then this one here is Big Spender, which is kind of like a warm purple, again a really, really nice colour, um, and kind of a little bit brighter than you might be used to. And then another kind of purple shade that I've been loving is this one by Maybelline. I don't know what this is called, but it's number... Uh, 135 and it's just this kind of shimmery purple color really pretty and very kind of appropriate for this time of year which is absolutely horrific it's just raining all the time and then I have got a few skincare items the first um, two are ones that I've been really really enjoying lately this is the soap and glory the glow job the name of this is just <laughs> fantastic but this is a really unusual product because I did try the original version of this and I didn't like it that much, but this one's kind of different. It's been re um, pack the packaging's been redone obviously, but also the actual formula's different. And I'll just show you what it looks like because it's very unusual. It's just this kind of white cream and it feels like it's got small beads inside it, so that's what it looks like. And then as soon as you start to rub it in, it kind of creates this sort of beautiful sheen and tint to the skin. And you can see here suddenly the skin looks just a little bit warmer. It smells beautiful, it kind of smells really floral, and it just gives your skin this kind of beautiful sheen. And I've been wearing this on my face when I've been really tired, and it just really perks up your skin, and it's great if you want to kind of do the no makeup makeup look, which I'm going to do a tutorial on that soon, because um, I've been wearing that kind of most weekends, and it's a nice look. So really love the glow job. And then the next one is this eye cream, and I'm actually obsessed with this. I think this is one of the nicest eye creams I've ever used. And it's the Soap and Glory Puffy Eye Attack Turbo Boost Hydra Gel. That's what the packaging looks like. I told you, I keep packaging. Um, and this is what it looks like, the actual cream. It's just a kind of gel-like cream, but it soaks in instantly. It's really cooling. It just makes applying makeup a dream and I've been using this every night and then in the morning sometimes as well but it just really really is unusual and, and I'm not someone who kind of I always do use an eye cream but I've not found any that really made that much of a difference this does it's lovely and then last but not least is the steam cream now for those of you who don't know what steam cream is it's a kind of multi-use cream that um has been around for a really long time and I'll just show you kind of what the actual cream itself looks like but it comes in loads of different um, variations of packaging this one in particular I can't remember the name of the top of my head but I'm going to put it down below but you need the tiniest amount I've been using this on my hands and my hands have been getting really dry lately so I just use a little bit on my hands before I go to bed and it smells really lovely it smells really kind of herbal and zesty and rub it all over my hands and go to bed and your hands will look really nice and feel kind of soft so that's it for my kind of beauty favorites and then for my random favorite this month I've got a candle and this is the candle by Village Candles in Christmas Cookie. I know it's not Christmas anymore, I know, but it's a really sweet scent and I only like these types of scents in the winter because I feel like they can be a bit overpowering. I don't like any of Yankee Candles um, kind of food scents, I just feel like they're too much, but this, it's sweet um, and it just smells like kind of vanilla or creme brulee. It's a kind of two wick candle and it's just great. I really, really like it. I like the packaging and I think it's just really nice. And it, obviously the packaging does look very much like Yankee Candles, but really nice candle. It doesn't burn as even as I would like, um, but the fragrance is really nice and it's not too strong and off-putting. And then for my YouTuber of the month, I have been obsessed with Sally Hughes Beauty. I think that's how you say it, but if it's wrong, I will put an annotation. Um, I'm gonna put her channel link down below, but she's the beauty writer for The Guardian, so she kind of knows her stuff. She's very, very articular, and I've been really enjoying watching her in the bathroom with where she takes like various different celebrities that like, um, uh, who did she have last week that I watched? Charlotte Tilbury, and before that she had um, Gizzy, is it Gizzy Erskine? 
Kathleen Moran, she had um, Brit Smart, whatever her name is, I can never remember. Um, but she takes those and she kind of shows you what's in their bathroom. And if you're a beauty junkie, it's fascinating. Because I'll confess that when I go to people's houses, I have a nose at their products, just because I want to see what they're using. Um, so it's kind of like doing that on the internet, it's fantastic. But I really enjoy her videos, so I'm gonna put her channel down below, even though you probably know about it, but just in case you don't, I will put it down below for you to go and have a look. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed my January favourites. Let me know what your favourites this month have been. And don't forget to give the video a big, big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.